we getting it's a live action Streets of Rage, and then today I'm finding out we are getting a live action Shinobi movie, and the Sega team is freaking teaming up with them, Universal. So that's yeah. like, and then another thing that makes this sound so great, this news too, is that they got Sam Hargrave, which was like a stunt double or not stunt double, stunt man or something. Then he's the one that been directing the the Extraction movies with Chris Hemsworth. So he's directing this movie of Shinobi. So then already action wise is going to be good. Then they got Ken Kobayashi on the screenplay. So it's basically like the, the people that know Shinobi very well, the story and everything. And then you got Sam Hargrave directing. Uh, I think this is going to be, this is going to be good. Like, I don't see how they could fuck this up. I know how they could fuck this up make it pg-13 i doubt it because shinobi and then sam hargrave that did the extraction thing the distraction movies on netflix like basically like those are just straight like brutal hardcore violent action scenes yeah. So I'm gonna read this like part of it, what they saying, and then we'll go back into like, but just to get like some more of an idea in the detail. So, all right. Sega and Paramount hit it big with the Sonic the Hedgehog movie series. So they've been doing good with Sonic, and now they're doing with Sega game. So another Sega game, which is Shinobi. So it looks like same thing how you know Nintendo's trying to do with Mario and how that did well. Now they want to do Zelda and all those other stuff IPs. Now, yeah. Sega looks like they're trying to come up now. So, and now the game company is teaming up with Universal to bring another classic game to the screen. This time, the series in question is Shinobi. And the partnership is with Universal, which has a live action film in the works. Side scrolling action game series Shinobi series first started in arcades back in 1987 and has seen a number of sequels spin-offs and revivals in the decades since including awesome tough as nails 3d ps2 entry in 2002 you remember that shinobi that shinobi he's uh, running the walls and like i would like favorite. to see that version in the live action movie no, that, that was my favorite shinobi yeah like it's i got like, that twice yeah I mean, if they do that, him running on walls, they really stealthy and fast. Oh man, that's gonna be crazy. Hey, remember we was talking about we haven't gotten like ninja movies, and look at the coincidence. Now there's a ninja movie in the works, so I'm very right. excited about this. And the crazy is, it's one of those old school try to ninja movies, yes. like stories, that potential, like bro. yeah, you know, they go to the clan kill the whoever I think runs the clan. Yep. So it's like it's a period it's that, piece that's in that time. Yeah. Yeah, figure the ninjas want to bring it back to when ninjas ran that shit. Exactly. Yep. So mm -hmm. Sam Hargrave Extraction Series is currently lined up to direct the live action film with Ken Kobayashi, Sunny Move On, handing the script, the screenplay. Producers include Mark Plot and Adam Siegel of Mark Plot Productions, Dimitri M. Johnson of Story Kitchen, and Turo Nakahara of Sega. So basically, they're going to have all these producers and Sega, the top people in Sega, to make it happen. Uh, nothing else? Okay, so Crunchyroll, that's all y'all gave us. So, bro, what do you think of that? Like, um, I, I, I think it's, it would be a great movie if they f keep it you know r-rated and it has enough action and blood in it and hey, sometimes like ninja, ninja assassin oh, oh yeah marvelous yeah because you know i hate when a ninja when they do the you know the slashing and the kind and then you don't see no blood on the sword they splash the blood to the side and it was like yep. it's like it was no blood on that sword for you to do that pimpy slash the sword to, for the blood to be swiped off like there's no blood on that yeah it's like a lot of movies crash and burn when you know and then they try remember to, too yeah. he's not just like a regular ninja so we're talking about he's a ninja that be having powers because if you play the games of shinobi like you know he has like different yeah. power-ups like a storm and and thunder yeah. and all that other stuff so just imagine that live action like i that's doubt the they're gonna just make him a regular ninja that's just like nice fast and and quick with it uh that's what i'm saying like if they're gonna are they gonna put his powers or are they just gonna keep it to a ninja thing 
No, I don't know. That that's 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 on dumb and I think I would assume that if they smart enough and they got the people of Sega that that would be the case. Because if they yes. try to do everything right this time, it they can make it happen. You know, unlike when Sega tried to do the it wasn't Sega, it was more like they bought the rights, but you know, House of the Dead, you see how horrible that movie was and all the no, other Alone in the Dark, all those movies was garbage, but Hell, I'm telling you, Sonic was the only one that they really did good with. Yeah. yeah. Cause all the rest of them I don't re- I don't even remember a Sega movie. And oh, no. Nah. Streets of Rage is another one too because Streets of Rage, I don't remember Streets of Rage for Super Nintendo or Nintendo. It was a Sega game. I look into that, but I think Streets of Rage was just a straight Sega game. So that is another one too that's you know being done by the uh the same people behind John Wick. So that's I'm telling you. It's getting interesting, bro. We getting like our like uh childhood uh ips that we love being done you know like especially game wise and and comic wise but it's happening yeah and you know the thing with shinobi is like they got the 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 robotic like like demon monster so it's like they can go either way so that's what i'm saying like the special effects better be on there yeah you gotta you gotta imagine though bro like if if they said shinobi series so that means they're trying to do it like a like a trilogy so they're gonna have to start you know basic basic probably freaking like ninja villain or something like you know maybe a samurai or somebody that he faces right and then you amp it up throughout and then maybe even the first movie like a few little you know maybe power-ups or he disappears or something i just keep it keep it simple you know keep give them the simple stuff you know the, the fast being able to be fast disappear the smoke now you really don't gotta get crazy exactly well folks you let us know in the comments section what do you think of a live action shinobi movie oh man